What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today was going to be a different day. We were getting a fresh unit that was supposed to be the next giveaway car, which was oddly similar to this STI that we picked up, but went up there and looked at it and turns out it had a decent amount of hail damage. So I went ahead and passed on it. So speaking of giveaway cars, we have the Evo 9. So the winner of this thing, Lau, he came uh, at the beginning of January, took a look at this thing and checked it out. Drove it. I don't know if we put a video out on that by the time you guys have seen this thing, but essentially what we did is we replaced the, the blown up FP Red Turbo that happened on the dyno previously where we kind of had an issue on the dyno with a stock Evo 9 Turbo. And then we went to Florida, did all that stuff. We came back, we got the rebuilt FP Red from Force Performance, got that all installed and, uh, you know, went and drove it, did all that stuff. We actually put a fresh set of Deechworks thousand cc injectors so we got rid of these freaking old school injectors right there so we just wanted to take it and get it fully dialed in we also would like to see the power figures and the power numbers that this thing is actually going to make with the fp red with the rtech performance you know downpipe and full exhaust and and all that stuff that was kind of the main reason we even wanted to take this thing to the dyno in to begin with and so we want to go get some numbers so there's also another car that we might take a look at as well up there for a potential giveaway in the future. We we're kind of hoping on starting within the next like month or so. But before we do that, uh, I have my truck and trailer hooked up. Obviously the Evo is not mine. I'm not gonna drive it to the dyno is, is what I'm saying. So load it up in the trailer safe and sound. Uh, Eric has been detailing this STI today and doing like a full carpet out refresh, which is in my opinion, the freaking the best way if you ever buy a used car especially like this one it had some stuff in the back seat from like the kids and uh we have some surprises that uh, we found under the seat which uh i wasn't too stoked about but again that's why that's why we get this thing freaking all detailed so i'm gonna get the some of the things out of here i wish i had like a head cam version of this that i could just like stick on my my head because it is freaking hard to like work and hold a camera at the same time so look at that so get this guy, oh my goodness. You see, you guys are here for the vlog. You wanna be part of the day? This is it, getting it done. This is also uh, Saturday. We're going up to the dyno on Monday. So 2J from PRI, 4G63 from PRI, 2JZ out of the Super that Rod knocked that was also on display at PRI. So we got some stuff in here. We're gonna clear out and get a nice, uh, beautiful home for the Evo and uh, get it all ready to go. The infamous DJ. Y'all this stuff uh, survived. A lot of freaking miles. Uh, 20, well, 20 hour, 16 hours to Indianapolis, 10 hours to Florida, and then like almost 30 hours home. 28 to 30 hours home. Getting that other one on a on a rolly cart over there. What do you think? You like it? I love it. You like Jay Z's? Yeah. Hey, if you heave all ho, if you heave all ho. That's it. I think. It's something at least. All right, so we're mounting a toolbox in the trailer after what, five years? Well, you don't know, oh, yeah. but I've had a toolbox literally strapped in the trailer for five years. Oh, look at that unit. That's one of my buddies. He's this, guess who that is? You'll never guess his name. Hey, how you doing? What's up, man? What are you up to? Just hanging out. Nice. Just swing by and say hi. hi. All right, say hi to that guy right there. What up, that guy right there? Eric, Eric, Trevor. Oh, you like that? I was like, you'll never guess his name. And he was like, is it Eric? And I was like, you'll see. <laughs> you figured it out. It's funny, you have a twin brother named Eric. Oh, wow. And the Trevor and Eric show now. I'm just still trying to figure out this awkward, you know, setup over here. It's just a big V and like you could stick tires back there, but it's a pain in the ass. 
this thing could go back there, but then it's a pain in the, like the ultimate I think would be is if we had like a door like right here and then you just had access to more shit, but that's also complicated as well. So we've got the toolbox all mounted in here. Eric, would you like some light? Yeah. A little bit of light. See that, you know what we need to do? We need to put some strips like along the bottom. So that way when you are strapped in a car, you can freaking get to it. Evo is in here all strapped down, ready to go, ready for the dyno on Monday. If you like it there, do you want the chains on so you can put uh, it silver? I'd prefer that. Okay. Just, I mean, this is good, but this is like, that's real. I mean, this is good too, cause it goes into the same place. But you can see we have this thing. We need to figure out what else we're gonna put in here. You can see we got like some, you know, quarter inch stuff, some three eighths stuff, just little things. We got big bars, some screwdrivers, but like I wanna have a little bit more like extra specialty stuff in here too, you know, a little bit extra wiring. So we'll probably look around the shop a little bit more when we get back, uh, tech tin stuff, put all the straps in the bottom. So, uh, I'm excited to have this in here though. That's gonna help out just a lot. And then I wanna figure out a better place, like the jack. Every time, I always have to strap the jack down and it's just awkward, like finding a place to put it and then the tent and we just need to figure it out. All right boys, so we made it up to Steve's today to get the Evo with its uh, fresh tune with the, the FP Red and the fresh Dietchworks injectors and all that stuff. And we ran into our first issue as soon as we, we got on the dyno. Good thing. He started sniffing though, as soon as we got over here and he found one little, little O-ring right there on the top, weeping a little bit of fuel. So we're going to get that fixed and then stick this thing. Uh, obviously it's, it's already on the dyno, but then he's going to fire it up. We're going to see what the R-Tech, uh, R-Tech manifold, obviously that thing makes it sound nice, but then we have the downpipe and see how that all, uh, all translates to this thing ripping. It's crazy because just driving around the FP red on the stock, you know, with nothing else changed compared to the Evo 9 Turbo, it feels like it spools almost as fast as the stock 9 Turbo, which is insane, because those things are freaking like instant, it's wild. All right, so Steve just got this thing all fired up on his base map, everything looks good, it's idling good. Uh, we actually have another car we're gonna go look at today. So uh, we're just gonna let him do his thing, it's probably gonna take him like an hour or two. Let the man do his thing, We've, I feel like I live up here. I've been up here so many times with him. Uh, let him do his thing. We're gonna go look at this other car because it's about an hour away. Uh, see how that goes. And then uh, possibly just come back. We'll do a couple little, couple pulls at the end and uh, go from there. So that's our plan and that's what we're doing. All right, boys. So we secured a car. Sorry, it was just freaking hectic. We didn't like vlog. We didn't know if we we're gonna buy it or not, but there it is. We're gonna look at that in a minute. Uh, we got the Evo on the dyno. So we're checking this thing out. And uh, Steve's the man. How you doing, Steve? Hello. How you doing? Doing good, how are you? Oh, not too bad. So we acquired another unit, very similar, literally. Which exact competitors. Oh yeah. That and that against yeah. each other. You, the rivals, you got, yeah. the, you got the rivals from the same generation. Yeah. <laughs> you should um, chain them up and do a tug of war and see yeah, which one wins. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> which um, one blows up first? Hey. Put my money in. What, hey, what, what do you think would? <laughs> No, actually that that's that's for a future endeavor. So it's good. Yeah. It's gonna be good. There she is. How's she go? It did good. Did right at 415 horsepower, um, which is good for pump gas. And we're out of math, and you know we wanted yeah. to keep it speed den or not speed density. Wanted to keep it math. Yeah. You know since it's traveling. Yeah. And then, so it's leaving from Colorado. We're what like 5,000 elevation here. Yeah. It's going down to sea level basically in New York. Yeah. And so if we leave it uh, on the mass airflow sensor, it just rides that mass airflow sensor yep. table and how much air. Yep, and then once the new owner gets it, they can do whatever they want to do yeah. with it. Oh, yeah. Cool. So. Well, sweet. Well, uh, Steve already finished doing the tuning stuff and I think we're just gonna do another. Uh, did you guys already do a pull? No pulls. Yep. The camera was in the truck. Nice. So uh, we get to do some pulls. Yeah. We get to see yeah. We get to see it, we get to hear it, we get to experience it, get the number on the screen and then uh, we get to load this thing up and, and go home.
so good. That sounds sick. She ribs. All right, so now that we're done with Steve on the dyno with the Evo, we're getting ready to load that thing up. This is uh, the fresh unit. So 07 Hawkeye STI sedan. The interior on this thing is literally freaking mint. It's uh, basically a stock engine, has a cob, has an access port, has a full exhaust, but the seats in this thing are literally like freaking mint condition. Super sick. Cool. Oh my goodness. Oh. I think Steve's playing with the idle just a little bit. It was dropping down a little bit lower than, uh, than we would want, but yeah. There she is, so it has like the parent, like, it's got you everything. Know. It's got even got the rear motor mount parent. Like it's just got so much stuff. Oh yeah. Woo! Oh. Such a, it's crazy. Literally this and that. Direct competitor. Yeah, we got to get some photos of them before that thing uh, gets shipped out. Oh, 100%. But yeah, so intake, full exhaust. It has a, a heat blanket on it. It's got just got all kinds it's of little stuff. Just like they looked at the the aftermarket catalog of anything that was just like a bolt-on part, and it was mm. just like, yep, everything. So it has some coilovers, has a flex fuel kit on it. Is uh, Ooh, HKS ball valve? I think they were full loose. Really? I think that was why it was a little bouncy. So to the left or right? Right. So I went all the way to the right, and then eight clicks back. Hey right, Steve, let's just stick this on the dyno next. Go. It's got the cob in it, ready to go. Yep. And it, I guess it's flex fuel too. We said it's flex fuel. The problem with that is we don't know. We can't uh, with the new software that Cobb rolled out a year ago last May. Um, we can't do flex fuel tuning anymore on these. So what do we do about? We just leave it and um, as long as it runs good, don't because you know it, I, I lock my pro maps as well. Um, but I'm sure this is locked. You said boost creep tuned it, mm. so Harvey's is locked for sure. Um, but even if I did, even if you took it back to Harvey right now and had him do a touch up, let's say it needed to bump the idle up, he wouldn't be able to edit the map without hmm. losing the flex fuel capability. Yeah. As soon as you grab it with Cobb as a pro tuner, you have to click save, name it, whatever, and then flash it. As soon as you hit save, it comes with a warning that says, you know, upon saving, 21 tables will be reverted to stock and locked. Wow. So any emission stuff, you know, but. They are, um, Lance with Cobb was at the shop a few weeks ago, or I guess it's been a couple months ago now. On the newer models, they have their next gen. Um, I don't think they have it on this guy yet. I do think the Hawkeyes, they're gonna do it though, but the older versions, I don't think they're gonna, hmm. I don't think the ECUs have the capability. Yeah. So it's kind of neat. Well, I guess good thing that this thing got tuned a while ago. Yeah. And I mean, I think those are guys are pretty good tuners here in Colorado, especially for two Bs and all that stuff. Yeah, and uh, like the guy for like the Subarus, except for this one. Except right for that here. guy right there. But uh, yeah, no, that's that's good to know. Yeah. You know, because he was, he wanted to take it with him, and I was like, no, I want to keep it. And like he, you know, I was like, give me that thing, leave it on it. Yeah. But he said that you know, right now it's on 91 on like 12 pounds of boost is what he said. He said he just wanted it super conservative and then they tuned it for flex fuel, then they put 91 in it mm -hmm. and he hasn't even put flex in it since he's driven it. What's so it stock turbo? I believe so. Oh, wow. So oh, much. Yeah. 12 pounds as much. No, I, <laughs> no, I know. So we'll, uh, we'll see, but mm -hmm. uh, we'll, uh, we'll check it out. We'll drive it home. And uh, yeah, we got the Evo ready to load up in the trailer. It feels weird to like have that car and it's not mine mm -hmm. anymore, you know, but hey, look, yeah, we got this. We can play with this one now. I so throw somebody else's Evo around for a minute. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. Yeah, we both did. So, yep. Well, uh, I appreciate it, Steve. No problem. And uh, we're gonna get ripping. And hey, unless you want to stick. No, actually, we don't have time. We gotta go. You gotta go. <laughs> I just get excited when there's yes, you when do. there when there's dinos you and things excited. and stuff like that. So, all right. Bye, Steve. Bye, guys. Damn, this thing's freaking sick. Hey, nice car, man. Hey, thanks. I appreciate that, man. Just picked her up and uh, runs like shit. <laughs> just kidding, not Funny. Really. This thing, it looks good from behind, like the headlight. It just yeah. looks like a, it looks like a little sporty, little sporty guy. Only, $41, only $41. three gallons. That's it. Yeah. So you have like a tiny tank. I mean, it was just over half. So whatever this is. Put a little more in there. I feel like that's, I feel like that's a lie. I'm gonna have to back out of here. This is gonna be good.
Smokey. Give her a rev. It doesn't uh Got the interior all put back together. So pressure washed Dang. carpet, pressure washed seats. And now she's freaking actually looking like a like a solid freaking unit in here. Like look at that. Seats are clean. There's not freaking worms growing underneath the there's no worms growing underneath it. So I guess we could go drive it and see what it does. See if it clears up with a little bit of smoke. Still a little bit, but it's mostly cleared up, right? Definitely cleared up a lot more. Like when you get on it, you could kind of see a little haze out of the back, but it's not crazy. But it just sucks that like when you started it, freaking there's that much. Yeah. Which is probably, you know. Well, right now it almost looks like it's black. So I'm which you could, I mean, it, it goes to like freaking. It goes super rich. That's maybe so what black now it is. Might but... be, here, you give her a little rev for me, please. Okay. No. I mean, it seemed all right when we were driving it, or when I was driving it, it like smoked a little bit once you get more. Yeah, that's, that smells a little bit more fuel. So like, honestly, like valve stem sims, valve stem seals. I know a big issue with these STIs is like a cylinder four, they'll crack the ring land you'll get a, like a lot of blow by and stuff like that. And then it could, you know, push, then the turbo doesn't drain properly. It does some other stuff and the turbo starts smoking. And you know, like, there's plenty of things, but the fact that it like clears up when it's warm leads more so to valve stem seals. But if you're gonna do valve stem seals and you pull the engine, you might as well do other stuff too. So that, you know, so if, just get a whole new motor. You might as well sell it and buy an Evo. No, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know what the, I don't know what the. So the what would you pick over this or your Evo wagon? Cause they're both wagons, um, four cylinder turbo wagons. Now imagine like not the current condition of the Evo wagon, but like the, the like that Evo with that setup in mm, the Evo wagon. That is, that is, I would probably my Evo wagon. I'm not gonna not pick the Evo. Why would I not pick the Evo wagon? Nobody has an Evo wagon. You know how many of these things you see? Actually, get out of there. I want to drive it. I was going to say, why you put me in here? Get out of here. But that interior is nice now. It's actually like a respectable... It's a very nice spectacle, respectable wagon. I like all this stuff, too. I need to get a new like little... The, the center diff yet? Well, I haven't lo well, we locked it the other day when we was ripping it. So, yeah, now we got the freaking cop boy in there. We got it all this stuff. It has a center diff, too, and it has a different way to... Yeah, control you, just cool. click, you just click a button. It's cool. You just click a button. All right, so taking this thing home for the night. Just wanna drive it, get some experience. I didn't really drive it yesterday. I went for a ride with uh, the guy who was selling it. And then I was driving the truck and trailer and doing Evo Dino things. So basically Charles drove this thing yep. all the way back. Kill my back. Really? Yeah. Front suspension's not good. And uh, so yeah, we're cruising this thing home tonight, which I'm, I'm honestly pretty excited about because 
I gotta follow behind. Oh yeah, the suspension is terrible. You can already feel it? Oh yeah, like I felt it when I was riding with him. I love the blow off valve, it's like... Yeah. <gasps> HKS makes some oh, good stuff. Fit. Hey, that was fit. I think it has a short shifter. I would agree with that. I, I, would, I guarantee you it's the parent short shifter. I mean, it, it, it's like parent everything on this it, thing. It's like someone went to the parent, parent catalog and like said yes. Yeah. Other than a couple other little things. It's interesting like because it, you know, it has a parent tow hook out the front which is like the lime green version. Uh huh. But everything else is red. But everything else is red. Like. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still... I just love how stuff is pink. Like these seats yeah. and the fact that this interior is like so immaculate. I love it. Like the seats just feel awesome. Like I've I, never seen an STI with a nicer interior, to be honest with you. Yeah. Just baby in her. It feels solid though. Yeah. It feels like a nice, just a fun, like turbo car, you know? Yep. What do we, now the question, what do we do with it? Oh. Oh. I know. It's bad. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's that? bad. That is terrible. Yeah, just give it a little, give it a little dip in there. <laughs> You're bouncing. It's bad. I love the turbo though. There's a shift light too. It feels good. It feels better than the other one, for sure. Yeah. Like the freaking 2011 or whatever. It just feels, this chassis feels sim more similar to an Evo. Like yeah. It doesn't feel like an Evo, but it also feels like a little bit tighter, a little bit, the seats, the steering, I don't know. I, I, I still can't get over the pink STI stuff. Like, yeah. um, my first experience with an STI was actually a blah by STI. One of my uncle's sister's brother had one, and I was like, it was when they first came out. And I'm like freaking 10 or 12 years old. How old would I have been there? They, young. I was young. I was a young boy, and I loved cars. And he came, he showed up with this freaking STI and a big old you know scoop and the wing and like turbo noises and stuff. And he gave me and my brother a ride. Like and we had like literally this interior, this blue interior. And I just remember like 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 who do you have to be to like have this car? You know like how fucking cool of a guy are you if you have this car and then you know yeah. then i realized that they they have issues and they blow up and they have cheap, cheap owners and all that other stuff but 20 years later you got one 20 years later here i am now i'm that now i'm a silly goose with a freaking sti are you that guy pal i maybe i'm that guy i don't know if i'm that cool but i got an sti so that, that, that makes up for a little bit you know? uh, a little bit yeah i mean they, it is kind of true about like the thing though because like when you're a kid you're looking up to those people those guys that have cool cars well now like we're those guys you know like we're those guys with those cool cars that are hoping like to try and inspire either you guys or people that you drive by like i hope that like we're driving today and there's like a kid that sees that and like what is that you know and like he goes home and maybe figures it out or whatever um that'd be cool but uh it's like six, the six gear is nice yep that's one thing compared to the evo fifth gear cruising on the highway sucks sucks with this thing, all STIs are six-speed, and I guess they're really strong. Yes. Whereas the six-speed version of an Evo is not strong, supposedly. So, I like it. The frick, it drives so good. Look at it. Yeah, just cruise it. I mean, it is such yeah, a... Yeah, are great at this car, too. Harvey at Boost Creek did a good job on this, but... I think... Why that car? Should we add power? Add power? Yeah. I don't know. I think it's good how it is. Like, it's just so good. Like, I feel like once you start doing past this on cars, like, this is the, the point where it's like, man, it's fun, it's reliable, it makes all the right noises. Like, you hop Whoa. in it and drive it and not worry about, you know, being stressed out about it. Where as soon as you're like, okay, now it's like built motor, pistons, rods, freaking closed deck block, freaking big old. 3582 turbo making you know 600 700 horsepower on e85 it's just different you know yeah. like i just i like these cars to like actually for almost what they are with a little extra not 
belligerent, but I also like some belligerent stuff, but it's cool to have like this version and then also the other side of it. Then you actually have something to drive. Yep. All right, so just drove this thing home. Man, it's good. Like I've, I feel like I've always been around weird Subarus, like where they're, they don't run right or they have like some big turbo with a freaking external wastegate and when you get on it, they're like, like, and it just sounds like you're breaking it because you're like the external wastegate. Um, but this thing is freaking awesome. I really like it. The interior is just crazy. Kinsey, look at that. You like that interior? Look at them seats. Like they're so clean. Like they are just so clean. Like it is just crazy. And the fact that it has blue carpet, like I just love the blue carpet. Like that's just, it just does something different for me, especially this with the pink stitching right there. Like it just, it just, it just does something to me. I don't know. This car is freaking sick. I really like it. It's like, feels really good. It's like the freaking intercooler sprayer works. Um, yeah, overall just needs to clean up the little, you know, front bumper hood has some little rock chips and stuff in it, but man, overall it's just super yeah. freaking solid. What? You trying to get out? <gasps> Are you locked? Huh? Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Um, this thing's freaking sick. I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it. I'm freaking stoked on it. Um, uh, I think it's going to be a future giveaway coming up potentially shortly. And the wagon that you guys seen, the purple pearl or the blue purple pearl, whatever the heck freaking color, the wagon or hatch you want to call it, uh, that is going to be kind of mine to play around with and mess with and hopefully make you guys fall in love with these things. Cause I, I mean, but this one, this one did it for me. So appreciate you guys watching. See you later.